My little puffo. I love this teddy. It's like my favourite teddy. I've actually filmed this video twice through now, but the camera's rubbish. So I'm just going to apologise for the backing. I haven't got a cool background. My apartment's got windows in certain rooms and where the furniture and the windows are don't always match up. So I'm just making do. So I really apologise if the background offends you. And then I apologise for my barnet. It's bra strap that's uh, poking out there. Oh yeah, camera, you stop focusing on me. You do that, girl. Yeah. So I don't look the best. I apologise. But I thought I'd just jump on today to show you some of my favourite Revolution makeup products. Now I've had these products for quite a while um, and I've used some of them. So some of them I love, which I'll let you know, and some of them I don't love as much. I love Revolution. I don't have a clue what I'm doing with makeup. I just enjoy makeup. I enjoy putting makeup on. I enjoy looking for makeup. Looking for makeup? You just go to the shop, girl. I enjoy looking at makeup, trying them out in the shops, watching them. Just anything about makeup I love and I just love it. Did I mention that I love makeup? I really love Revolution because it's really, really, really affordable. Most of these products, in fact all of these products are under £10 and most of them are palettes. So you're getting more than one colour, more than one look and I just think that's a great value for money. I don't have any high-end makeup whatsoever so i don't know whether they're as good better than some of the high-end stuff i just know that they work really well for me and i'm going to share them with you guys you can thank me later girls you can thank me later can i just add the reason i'm doing this video is because when i'm looking to buy makeup i obviously go drugstore and i don't think there's enough people out there who are using drugstore makeup now i can't i know i'm kind of i've only used drugstore and no high-end and I'm sure if I used high-end I love high-end and I wouldn't ever go to drugstore but I think for those people that can't afford the high-end stuff like me I think I always want to see reviews I always want to see drugstore makeup and some of our drugstore makeup in England is amazing and doesn't get enough hype anyway rant over sorry if I keep looking outside by the way I live right next door to next door all right mate next door live next door to a train track and trains go past obviously because it's a train track it's a bit distracting and you can probably hear it as well so i'm sorry if you can straight into the video let's stop chatting shall we the first thing i'm going to show you is the eye palettes now as i said the reason i've bought these eye palettes is because they've got lots of different colors and some colors that i've never tried and i don't want to spend money and have things that don't actually suit me at least if I've got something within that palette that does suit me, then it's not a waste of money. I brought, bought is, brought or bought, who knows. These are the chocolate palettes. Now I think they're the dupe for the Too Faced makeup. As I said, I haven't used Too Faced, so I don't know whether they're better, worse, well they're obviously not going to be better, but as good as, worse, a good dupe, a bad dupe, I don't know. But I do know that these are great for the money. I think that was £9. That was eight pounds. So I'm gonna show you these. I've used this one the most, and I haven't used this one. So this one is the Golden Bar. It's a really nice palette full of lots of different shimmer shades. Now, as you can see, there's a few golds in there. Now the golds are what I kind of reach for the most, as you can see, because there's a big hole in them. And then there's also over this side, some really nice kind of mauvey and olive colors. And I think all together they work really well. And I think you can mix and match and make some really good looks out of that. And I think the colour payoff's pretty good for them as well. If I show you this gold, for example, I think it's pretty good. For, for an £8 palette, or a £9 palette, I think that's pretty good. There's two highlight colours here and here as well. Um, this is a nice, subtle, natural-looking highlight. And same with this one, but this is a really, really intense highlighter. I don't actually use this because it's just too much. It's like a silver highlight. It's not as nice as, as some of the others, like this one, <laughs> the others. If you are into more of a kind of real statement highlighter, then it's definitely in there. It's a good one to use. I just think that's a really nice palette. It's got lots of shimmers in there. You can make some really cool kind of looks with that, going out looks and kind of day looks. The next one is the I Heart Chocolate, which is like the original one. Now, this is my favourite. I got this about two three months ago and i haven't stopped using it i use it every single day and this color here more 
that's what I've got on my eyelids today, if you're wondering. This palette is lovely. It's got um, two highlighters. It's got a nice shimmer highlighter and a matte highlighter here. As I said, this is more. This is what I'm wearing today. And then literally just a bit of this and a bit of this. They've also got some really nice shimmery olives, a matte olive, some really nice kind of mauvey, burgundy colours. Some of them are matte and some of them are shimmer. And they've got a really nice neutral palette down here as well. This looks white, but it's actually bright, bright pink. Um, so the reason that I went for this palette is because it's got some colours in there that I've never, ever used. And I've never tried pinks and purples, and I really want to do a look with pinks and purples. So I thought this would be a good purchase and i've loved it and i've loved it ever since i've had it and i use it every single day even if i've decided that i'm going to go for that no makeup look there's like these colors here which look like you haven't got anything on but make your eyelids bam i love them I just, I just really like this palette it's my favorite palette so they're the two eye products moving on to face there's quite a little, well the rest of it is just face products i'll just wait for you to focus focus so the next one is the Revolution Luxe Powder. Now this is the banana powder. I think Kim Kardashian had this going, everyone going crazy. Now I think this first got big when Kim Kardashian decided to go for this big hype over it. But this was only five pounds from Revolution. It's just a luxury powder banana shade. It is brilliant. Really messy. So I actually decant, I do. I decant it into another, like a little bowl and then use it that way. It's a really fine milled powder. Um, I don't know what baking is, but there's been a few videos I've watched and someone's used this and they say, don't use this for baking, but don't know why, but don't. Just use it to set, which I do. So once I've done the concealer and brightened my eyes, I literally just set this there, brush it all in, blend it all out. Once I finish contouring, I also give it a going over on my face and just kind of blend it all out it's really nice to kind of just bring the contour and make it look really natural i just love this product i think it's brilliant i just think it is great i've had this for say about a month and i've still got like a whole box left and i've wasted a lot of it as well great little buy that next is a contour kit one of the things that i don't actually like um when i first got it i loved it and i was working using it every single day um, and then I moved on to something else which I'm going to show you and now I don't ever reach for this but it's three colours it's got the contour colour it's got the highlight colour and then it's got the blusher colour at the end here when I first when I first brought this I thought it was great um, it's just the ultra sculpt and contour kit the brown now is really really muddy I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit paler than I normally am so it just looks a little bit muddy or I'm applying it too heavily. I'm not sure. I've tried lots of different ways. It just doesn't really sit that well. The blusher, however, is a nice colour and it is a nice subtly, subtly. It is a nice colour for a subtle contour, although it's got shimmer in it. So it is a little bit different than a normal contour because obviously it's shiny. The highlighter I loved when we first got it, or when I first got it, no one shares it. But since using it, as you can see, the fallout from the other two um, has gone on to the highlighter. So it's made it like a really muddy tan horrible color so i don't really use that it was four pounds and i just wanted i ran out of contour powder so i thought i'd give it a go what i'm using now is this palette so this is the revolution ultra blush palette in golden sugar it's actually like it says a blush palette but it's got so many different co um colors in there that i use it for highlighting and contouring and blusher because they're all trying to get it open they're all there so these two here are real highlights it's got a really nice goldeny See if you can see that a goldeny peachy colour, a real true silver highlighter with gold running through it. So I use these as the highlighter, kind of mix them together because this is as highlighted as they come. Look at that. Um, so yeah, kind of mix those two. These three here are really nice, obviously, blush colours. I tend to reach for these two mostly just because it kind of them two together make a really nice combination. This is a really nice, if you're really, what I'd say if you're on holiday and you want a, a little bit of a blush, like a real nice golden colour, which is lovely. Same with this one as well. This is a really nice um, goldeny blush, but I think this would be nice as a little highlighter as well if you wanted a real subtle, if you've got a bit of a tan, you've been on holiday. And then this one is a matte brown 
and I think that at the moment it's the perfect contour for my skin tone. Um, I am quite brown. I think the light's washing me out a little bit, but I am quite brown, and it's it's not massively pigmented. But I just build it up slowly um, and just really blend it. And it just gives a real natural contour. And I really, really love it. So this palette, when I first bought it, I was a bit like... Now I've got... Look at that highlighter. Look. What? That is the highlighter, guys. That is that silver highlighter. What? Um, yeah, I, when I first got this, I was like, hmm, it's all right. But now it's become my favourite and I use it all the time like i use it every single day because it's just such a nice subtle look um but i think if you really wanted to have that look you could really build it up it would look really really cool so love that i think that was like eight pounds now i'm covered in highlighter now next up is um again another dupe i think for the two face it's the blushing hearts triple break triple baked blusher in peachy keen hearts now it's literally just a little heart shape isn't that cute um and it's got three shades in there it's got the tan it's got the pink and then it's got the highlighter now i use this on days where i just want a real subtle makeup look obviously i want a little bit of um definition on my face i don't just want to be round i literally just get the real techniques blush brush put it in do a little bit here a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there and just blend it out and it's just a really nice dewy glowy look now this is like a real like it says peachy kind of almost bronzery look they also do one um and it's just like true pink real blusher color with a real light highlighter on the on this tip um it is nice but it's just a little bit too pink for me and then they also do some really nice bronzers as well i've not tried the bronzers but they look really good so perhaps i'll try some of them soon but all in all this is a really lovely um, really easy blusher and this is probably one that I take on holiday because it's just an easy kind of no hassle blush highlighter it's an all-in-one it's just an easy on-the-go topper upper I just really like that one and I think that was like four or five pounds again really really cheap for what it is so guys that's the end of my revolution what I love what I don't really like I hope this is helpful for those of you that want to try new makeup but don't want to spend an absolute arm and a leg and just want to play around with some makeup then have a look at the revolution makeup and just see if there's any palettes out there that would suit you these are what i recommend hope you have fun thanks for watching guys if you love this program this isn't a program <sighs> take four thanks for watching guys if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this then give this a thumbs up stay tuned to this channel as i've got a top five makeup products that i'm using at the moment along with a few other videos that i'm sure you'll enjoy have a great day and i shall see you later bye